you know, I don't know if this is a correct nutrition label. <laughs> What up, sisters? We're going on a 10-day road trip to Switzerland. I don't know what to eat, so we're going to pick out some gluten and dairy-free options for me at the grocery store. We need something to eat in the car that's gluten-free, dairy-free, and PCOS friendly because we're going to be traveling around all 10 days. So what do we get? Let's go in this grocery store and find out. What's up, baby? Boy, today I come out. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is get some produce. But it has to be something that will last a few days of the 10-day trip. So we'll start with some apples, a healthy gluten-free carb. They have two different apples. One is medium-sized and one's pretty large. I'd say a medium-sized apple is a good serving. So I would get bananas, but I feel like they're going to smell in the car. So I'm actually not going to do that. Instead, I'm going to get these beauties. Honestly, I feel like if I wasn't getting fruit right now, I'm not going to eat fruit on the whole trip. It's good to have at least one piece a day. This will definitely last. You think God is sleep, you know I'm not sleep. You think God is sleep, you know I'm not sleep. You think God is sleep. Alright, vegetables. A lot of these are probably not going to last in a car, I'll tell you that much. But I know that if I wash and chop these carrots and keep them in a Ziploc bag, I think they'll last. Random fact, the carrots in Spain are so good. They have like more water content or something, or it's because they're, they're in season. They have extra crunch, way more crunch than the ones in America. Comment below if you agree, or if it's just me. Do you think green beans will last a few days? I think we should be fine. That's what we feel, at least for the first few days, we'll have some in the car. Okay, so there's a bunch of different nut options here, trail mix that I can make. I'm going to mix them all and I'm going to add some dried fruit with not a lot because I don't want that sugar content and make my own trail mix. So here we go. Macadamia nuts. We oh, yeah. A little bit of pecans. All right, and then they have cocoa nibs. These are great because they add a chocolatey flavor, but they don't have sugar in it. So that's the vibe we're going for. What's a trail mix without a little bit of omega-3? Walnuts. We got one last thing, sisters. Make that too. I just saw pumpkin seeds. I'm gonna add pumpkin seeds and goji berries. This entire shelf is gluten-free crackers, and I'm here for it. I'm gonna grab one for our road trip, but when I opt for my carbs, I usually opt for something less processed. So I'm gonna pick some fruit, and that's gonna be my carb option on this road trip as backup in case I can't find something gluten-free. Or as a snack, of course. So many options, what do I choose? Voila. I'm picking this one because it says the word fiber on it. Does that mean it has fiber? Rico de Fabra. I feel like this grocery haul was relatively easy. I just made do with whatever options that I had here. I know that everything that I bought isn't like gonna substitute all of my meals or snacks throughout the entire trip, but it's good enough to fill in the blanks. And what I mean by that is sometimes it's hard to find vegetables. Like when you're at a restaurant, 
they often don't have you know that half plate of vegetables that I really want or would have made at home so it's good to have something around in the car so that I get that consumption throughout the day and also the same goes for fruit I can't remember the last time I ordered fruit at a restaurant so having these little cuties and green apples with me is great because now I can have one or two pieces of fruit a day otherwise I probably wouldn't have had fruit <laughs> I mean, unless a breakfast joint has fruit, but I'm probably not gonna order a fruit bowl, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like this grocery haul basically filled in the gaps of foods that I probably won't find available to me during the road trip. So that's good that I will have them on hand. But while we're on this road trip, I'm excited to eat out, choose gluten and dairy free meals, and of course have these as my backup plan. And on that note, it's time to go pack my bags.